Concorde 002 first took off in April 1969 and following seven years of extensive supersonic testing her last flight was made to the Fleet Air Arm Museum, Yeovilton, in July 1976 where she is preserved in one of the museum's four exhibition halls. Concorde 002 was the second prototype of this Anglo-French aircraft. She was assembled in Britain and made her first flight from the British Aircraft Corporation's plant at Filton, Bristol on the 9th of April 1969. The first French prototype Concorde 001 flew from Toulouse, France a month earlier on the 2nd of March 1969. The main purpose of Concorde 002 was to act as a test and development aircraft for the fleet of 16 Concords that were built for Air France and British Airways. Concorde 002 first achieved supersonic speed on the 25th of March 1970 when she reached a speed of Mark 1.15. She hit her maximum speed of Mark 2.05, approximately 1,350 miles per hour, on the 7th of October 1971. On completion of her last test program, she arrived at the Royal Naval Air Station, Yeovilton, in July. 1976 and was placed on permanent display at the Fleet Air Arm Museum. This marked the end of her test career which lasted seven years but was the start of a glorious second career educating the British public on the marvel of modern technology.